Welcome everyone. On behalf of the bride and groom, I'd like to thank each and every one of you for being here on such a special day. The day that we, as the family and friends of the happy couple, get to celebrate the love of Stephen and Lindsay. As the bridal party walked down the aisle, you may have noticed that in the place of bouquets, the bridesmaids are all holding books. These books are particular favorites of Stephen and Lindsay and were chosen to represent them both. All three books are classics and all three contain important life lessons for any reader. But in particular, I find that they have significance for a young couple on the precipice of their married life together. Stephen and Lindsay, let me present to you some sage advice straight from the pages of some of your favorite authors. Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. Never let your stubbornness and pride keep you from happiness and contentment. And sometimes, humility is necessary in a loving partnership. J.R.R. Tolkien's fantasy classic, The Fellowship of the Ring. Just as Samwise Gamgee was there to carry Frodo up the slopes of Mount Doom, you will be there to support each other through the trials ahead. But remember, you will never lack for people to offer advice and love you as you move through every stage of your lives together. Simply light the beacons and call for aid. Stephen, I always knew that from the moment we got engaged, we would write our own vows. What I didn't realize is how hard it would be to put into words exactly what would make sense or uh, something that would even resonate with how important this actually is. I read in a book, a book ironically that was for work, that when you try to describe something and why it fits so well, it's so hard to explain. But deep down, as a human species, we need a group of people or a person who makes us feel like we truly belong. And that is just it. Stephen, you accept every part of me, the good, the bad, and the ugly, and have never given any indication that especially the ugly parts would ever come between the bond that we have. I vow to never take your thoughtfulness for granted and even try to match it when I can, which is incredibly hard to do because you are the most thoughtful person I know. I vow to never let you give up on yourself, even if the path forward isn't always clear. I vow to love all of you every day and to make sure you know it every day. Lindsay, I know it has felt like we're married for a long time now. Certainly the cats won't know that anything has changed when we get home. But I'm so happy that we're here today to share this part of our story. We all know that brevity is not my strong suit, so giving me the opportunity to stand here and try to put into words how much I love, respect, and cherish you and this relationship we share does run the risk of everyone here missing the cocktail hour. However, as you so often do, you've given me the inspiration to overcome this personal failing by having the idea to frame this ceremony in the context of great stories. My struggle in writing this is to distill down all that you mean to me into something so brief as a wedding vow. How much I admire you, rely on your support and love you every day, the experiences we've had together already, and all of the dreams that we share and look forward to seeing become real throughout the rest of our lives. So, I've decided to frame my vow to you around a quote from one of our favorite stories, The Lord of the Rings. It is one of my favorite lines because of how simple it is in summing up the relationship of two people and what they believe to be their final moments. When hope is lost and it feels like the world is ending around them, Frodo says to Sam, I'm glad you are here with me, here at the end of all things. Today, I'm pledging to you that no matter what challenges we may face through all the joy and sorrow life brings our way, that you will never face them alone. I will be here with you, with all my love, for as long as I live.
Yeah.